The Boata's Void The Boata's Void is one of the largest known voids in the universe, a nearly empty region of space spanning approximately 330 million light years in diameter. Discovered in 1981 during a galaxy redshift survey, this cosmic expanse contains far fewer galaxies than expected based on the average distribution of matter in the universe. While a typical region of comparable size would hold thousands of galaxies, the Boata's Void has fewer than 60. This makes it one of the most sparsely populated regions in the universe populated regions ever observed. The emptiness of the void is unsettling because it contradicts the otherwise relatively uniform structure of the cosmic web, where galaxies form vast filaments and clusters interwoven with dark matter. Theories for its origin include early cosmic inflation anomalies or large-scale quantum fluctuations, but none provide a complete explanation. This void raises fundamental questions about cosmic structure formation, and its sheer size and emptiness offer a view into a part of the universe almost entirely devoid of light, heat, and structure, a silent starless chasm that defies expectation. The galactic center of the Milky Way at the heart of our own Milky Way galaxy lies a region dominated by extreme gravitational forces, intense radiation, and chaotic dynamics. This area is centered around a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A, which has a mass approximately 4 million times that of our Sun. The environment around it is extraordinarily hostile. The space near Sagittarius A is saturated with high energy particles, X rays, and gamma rays, emitted by material being torn apart as it spirals into the black hole. Stars in the vicinity travel at speeds of up to thousands of kilometers per second, pulled by the black hole's gravity. The region is also packed with massive star clusters, magnetars, and fast-moving gas clouds, all interacting in unpredictable ways. Time itself dilates near the event horizon, and any object or spacecraft getting too close would be stretched and compressed by gravitational tidal forces in a process known as spaghettification, the Eridanus supervoid. The Eridanus supervoid is an enormous region of space that is unusually cold and largely empty, stretching about 1.8 billion light years across. It is associated with the cold spot in the cosmic microwave background, CMB, a patch of sky that is significantly cooler than surrounding regions. This has puzzled cosmologists because the uniformity of the CMB was expected to be more consistent across the entire sky. Theories suggest the supervoid could explain this anomaly via the integrated Sachs-Wolf effect, where light loses energy traveling through a vast, underdense area of space. The existence of such a massive void is difficult to reconcile with standard models of cosmic inflation and structure formation. If this region is indeed as empty as it appears, it may represent one of the largest known departures from the average density of the observable universe, raising unsettling questions about what else might lurk in the vastness of space, the event horizon of a black hole. The event horizon is the boundary around a black hole beyond which no information or matter can escape. It is not a physical surface, but a point of no return. Once an object crosses this threshold, it is irrevocably pulled into the singularity at the black hole's center, a point where the curvature of space-time becomes infinite and the known laws of physics break down. The event horizon marks the end of predictability. Anything beyond it cannot communicate with the outside universe, and observers can only see matter just before it crosses this boundary, frozen in time and increasingly redshifted. Tidal gravitational forces near the event horizon can tear apart stars, planets, or spacecraft. Despite being invisible, the event horizon defines one of the most terrifying places in the cosmos, both physically and conceptually, as it represents the limits of scientific understanding. The surface of a magnetar. Magnetars are a rare type of neutron star with magnetic fields a thousand times stronger than that of typical neutron stars. This is trillions of times stronger than Earth's magnetic field and powerful enough to destroy data on a credit card from a distance of 100,000 kilometers. The intense magnetic pressure distorts atoms into long, thin shapes and can fracture the star's crust. 
causing starquakes that release more energy in a fraction of a second than the Sun emits in 100,000 years. The environment near a magnetar is lethally radioactive, with constant bursts of X-rays and gamma rays. The surface temperature can exceed 10 million Kelvin. Any matter approaching it would be shredded by tidal forces and bombarded with radiation. Theoretical models suggest that even the vacuum near a magnetar could become unstable, generating electron-positron pairs. Magnetars represent some of the most extreme physical conditions in the universe, densely packed with mass, light, and magnetic energy. Quasar's Accretion Disk Quasars are the extremely luminous cores of young galaxies, powered by supermassive black holes feeding on vast amounts of matter. The light from a quasar's accretion disk can outshine entire galaxies, despite being confined to a region smaller than our solar system. This disk is made of infalling gas, dust, and even stars, all heated to tens of millions of degrees as they spiral toward the black hole. The radiation emitted includes high-energy X-rays, ultraviolet light, and relativistic jets of charged particles moving at nearly the speed of light. This environment is so energetic that molecules are torn apart and atoms are stripped of their electrons. Any object caught in the gravitational grip of a quasar's accretion disk would be pulverized by gravitational shear forces and irradiated into plasma. These engines of cosmic destruction are not only dazzling but profoundly dangerous, marking some of the most violent regions in the known universe. The Hell Planet, HD 189733b. HD 189733b is a gas giant exoplanet located about 64 light years from Earth. What makes it terrifying is its weather. The planet's deep blue hue, once mistaken for oceans, is caused by silicate particles in its atmosphere, glass. This planet experiences glass rain, where shards of molten glass are blown sideways by winds reaching 8,700 kilometers per hour, 5,400 miles per hour. These superheated winds carry the glass particles at hypersonic speeds around the planet in a continuous storm. The planet is also tidally locked, meaning one side always faces its host star, baking at temperatures exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius or 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, while the dark side remains in perpetual darkness. The extreme temperature gradient further fuels the violent wind systems. If a spacecraft or probe were to enter this atmosphere, it would be instantly shredded, melted, and vaporized, highlighting how alien and inhospitable exoplanetary weather can be. The Great Attractor the Great Attractor is a gravitational anomaly in intergalactic space that appears to be drawing galaxies, including our own Milky Way, toward it at speeds over 600 kilometers per second. Located in the Zone of Avoidance, a region obscured by the plane of the Milky Way's disk, this massive structure cannot be seen in visible light. Instead, it is detected through its gravitational influence on galactic motion. What makes the Great Attractor so unsettling is its invisibility and its power. The gravitational pull is strong enough to distort the path of galaxy clusters across hundreds of millions of light years. Though some of its mass has been attributed to the Norma cluster and nearby superclusters, the exact nature of the mass concentration remains partially unexplained. It raises questions about what kind of cosmic structure could exert such overwhelming force while remaining largely unseen.